Hi everyone, so today we are talking all about plus-sized and mid-sized body type examples. So if you are completely new here and you don't know what's going on, take a look around my channel. I have a ton of videos about body types and silhouettes and things like that. And if you are still confused, I also offer typings through my website and I'll leave a link to all of those down below. So one thing that comes up with my clients is they often ask me, does body type change as you lose or gain weight? And I've come to this conclusion time and time again through working with people and overall through studying celebrities and studying the systems that body type really does not change with weight. And I want to just give more examples in this video of more sort of like just different people, like mid-sized people, plus-sized people, and just show you guys how the different body types look at different weights. And hopefully we can add this to our repertoire of people who have been typed certain body types so that you can take a look at them in your own time as well and uh, see you know, look at them for style inspiration, see how they look in different outfits, and um, this is going to be a really long video, so get some tea and, uh, and join me. First, we have Beveled Firm, and Beveled Firm is the closest kibby type to that is Flamboyant Natural, and so Beveled Firm is someone who is usually pretty tall, usually has pretty long lines, and some, some width to the silhouette, some width to the shoulders, and also pretty much a firm physique. And so Lizzo is one such person. Lizzo is beveled firm. And so you can see how beautiful she looks with that kind of neutral makeup. Beveled firm looks amazing with neutral makeup, matte makeup, with an emphasis on the eyes, with like a smoky eye. Nothing overly colorful for beveled firm. And here she is doing this incredibly feminine, beautiful look with in her beveled firm lines. So you can see that she has pretty oversized elements to match her larger scale bone structure. And she also has a bit of tousling to the hair to sort of mirror some of the angles to her bone structure. And so here you can see her physique a bit more and you can see how even at a higher weight, someone at a higher weight who is beveled firm is still going to look like they are firm. They're not going to look necessarily like fleshy or curvy for their weight. And this is the thing that I will tell a lot of my clients is that it's all about seeing, it's not so much if you look, if, if you are curvy or soft it's like are you curvy or soft for your weight it's all about relative to yourself and it's all about what looks the best on you you see and so so when you are thinking about gaining or losing weight you're really thinking about comparing outfits next to each other and what looks best on you at that time not necessarily what looks best on someone else at some other weight or anything like that and so I always tell people to come back to themselves and come back to thinking about what flatters them the most at their current weight. What did they feel comfortable wearing? What makes them look their best and makes them feel their best? And so you can see here, she looks amazing with this kind of asymmetry to the hemline and with that open neckline. I think that looks amazing on her. And here she also looks excellent with the tousled hair and the oversized detailing, the oversized earrings all look really beautiful on her. Next up we have Georgina Burke. She is also beveled firm. And you can see that she looks wonderful with tousled hair. She looks wonderful in these. The thing with lightweight fabrics I've noticed for beveled firm is a lot of my clients will say that they actually love lightweight fabrics as beveled firm. And the reason for that is because lightweight fabrics in long lines that will accentuate your long, the long lines of your silhouette are particularly flattering for you if you're beveled firm, even if they are lightweight. And especially for her here, she also has some of that print and that almost looks like a texture. Beveled firm looks amazing in textured fabric. So I think this looks beautiful on her and the open neckline is so sensual and so effortless on her. So I think it's just perfect. And here you can see, this is actually from a photo shoot and you know, I didn't, I didn't, I'm sorry that this photo, she looks like a little unhappy in the photo, but regardless of her looking a little bit unhappy, um, I do think that this kind of look is a, a little too plain on her. 
it's just a little bit too plain and it's interesting because you know she has the necklace she has a bit more glamorous hair but the dress is just a little too plain i think she she really looks wonderful with more texture more uh, more flow to her silhouette nothing too stiff yeah beveled firm often looks so wonderful with texture with texture to the hair different textures of fabrics either lightweight heavyweight everything in between and very long lines dramatically long lines to the silhouette that just looks wonderful on beveled firm and so here i think she looks amazing with that tousled hair i just love it and it's the same thing you know again as you gain or lose weight the same things will really flatter you you may want to depending on your comfort level or what you enjoy at different weights what different aspects of your body you enjoy at different weights you may want to tailor that to your preferences of course you you know you want to feel comfortable and beautiful in what you're wearing but keep in mind that your body type does not really change with your weight and the lines that flatter you most don't actually really change with your weight and so you can see here she looks wonderful in with the tousled hair and you know sort of the open neckline just amazing on her next we have beveled soft america ferrera is beveled soft and so she over here you can see she does look a little bit more you know that blazer looks a bit too stiff on her um and you know overall i still like how she looks here though i do enjoy the slight tousling to the hair uh, it does look her look here does look very dressed up in a way because her hair isn't particularly tousled but this is something to keep in mind if you are beveled soft is actually things often look very neat on you a lot of a lot of people come to me and they say that they don't know what to wear in an office setting and they don't know how to look professional being beveled soft but that's actually just once i start working with people i do i you know they come to me and tell me that that's right like this is true you know it's it's easier to look put together as beveled soft actually it's easy to look put together because things look overly neat on you you actually need a little bit of tousling to the hair you actually need a little bit of texture you actually need a little bit of oversized sometimes and so it's easy to look very professional or very put together as any bevel type and so here you can see how looking incredibly put together can actually look a little bit stiff on her the hair being every single hair in its place looks a little bit stiff on her the blazer is a little bit stiff on her and the makeup you know not being i think in, in the next photo i i believe i like her makeup a little bit more the makeup is a is is pretty good here it's just maybe a bit more color a bit more freshness would be really nice on her so it's something like this looks a little bit too stiff and this is what i mean by a professional setting it's like you really don't have to go that far as beveled soft to look put together in a professional setting and here you know it's too much of everything it's too constricting her hair being slicked back is too constricting and it's a little too much glamour it's a little too much glamour with the earrings uh beveled soft tends to look good in larger scale earrings but with irregular shapes not too much glamour to them and the top is just too restrictive on her she really does better with an open neckline softer fabrics things like that not too much tailoring and so this i really really enjoy on her because she really looks just right here i really like how you know her hair is a bit tousled her makeup is a bit glowy you know you don't have to do bright colors if you're beveled soft for makeup you can do just a little bit of it just can't be too heavy you know and finally this kind of top i love for beveled soft this kind of um the lightweight fabric and then the oversized bow at the neckline it's so professional and it also is perfect for beveled soft so if you are beveled soft and you're looking for a professional look this kind of blouse i believe it's called a pussy bow blouse i don't know but it just looks amazing on beveled soft billy eilish is also beveled soft she obviously has a very different style uh, and i have a whole video on billy eilish that you can take a look at where i discuss her body type and color type and so she's also beveled soft and you can see her bone structure here you can see some of the beveled angles to her chin here especially when beveled smiles you can see some of that some of the bone structure to their chin 
and you can see that here in Billie Eilish, but I would recommend not really focusing too much on dissecting your bone structure. I would actually recommend trying on the different lines, trying on the different silhouettes and seeing what flatters you. That tends to be the easier way that I've found people can confirm to themselves their, their own type. And so here you can see how beautiful she looks with this, these kind of like soft pastels, which beveled soft often looks excellent in. Sharp and taut. So the closest Kibby type to this is dramatic, like a pure dramatic. And so we have Jill Kortlev and Jill Kortlev is a model and she has that kind of angularity to her bone structure. You can see the angular cheekbones, the angular jawline, and she also doesn't have much softness to her cheeks or much roundedness to her eyes. So she has a pretty firm look to her and she has that sharp bone structure underneath that firm physique and firm flesh. And so here you can see how this kind of look, like even though she's a model and she's incredibly beautiful, this kind of look just is not doing anything for her because that kind of like colorful top and then like the clingy bottom, it just doesn't do anything for her. And it just goes to show that, you know, no matter how beautiful you are or what your weight is, there are always going to be things that maybe look more aesthetically at home on you and aesthetically pleasing and things that don't look as harmonious on you. So it's really not about the weight or anything else for that matter. Everyone has their best lines. We're all mere mortals, you know, we all have our, our most flattering lines and our most flattering colors. And so here I really enjoy this on her and I think it's just night and day difference. I love the asymmetrical tuck to the blazer and I love the fabrics and I think it just is very flattering on her. And so also here I love the bold brow and the sleek bob. A short sleek bob is really beautiful on any sharpened taut type and her lip color being a little bit more like deep in color, not bright, is very flattering on her as well. Angelica Houston is another sharpened taut type. She is, uh, I believe, she, I don't know, but she is definitely, she's definitely sharpened taut, and she has been all kinds of different sizes throughout her life, so you can really see how she looks when she is at a lighter weight, at a heavier weight, and everything in between. So that's someone to take a look at if you are sharp and taut and you feel like you want to get a, more of an understanding about how your body changes with weight gain or with weight loss. And so you can see that again, she has that firm look to her and she doesn't have the same kind of fleshiness as softness as the next lady I'm going to show you who's sharp and soft. So here you can see she just looks wonderful in this kind of like a uh, very clean lines and the the bob and then the like relatively minimal detailing and the neutral makeup with an emphasis on the eyes. And even though this photo is pretty it's older obviously it's an older photo and it's pretty it's pretty much a I don't know how old it is, but you can tell that it's from a different time. You can also see how flattering this stuff is on her. And that's why, you know, I really enjoy these kinds of systems about understanding what is the most flattering on you, regardless of trends, regardless of the times. There are always going to be these aesthetic principles that can guide your decisions, your fashion decisions, your style decisions. And this is a great example of just something looking like it's from a different time, but still looking like it is. it just looks amazing and it looks good on her. There's a certain timelessness to it. There's a certain timelessness to how good she looks here. Next, we have sharpened moderate. So sharpened moderate is, it's a type in body geometry that doesn't exist in Kibi. And so it's basically in between sharpened soft and sharpened taut. Sharpened moderate is not as soft as soft dramatic and not as firm and taut as dramatic. It's kind of in the middle. So we have 
Whitney Thompson from American Next Top Model. And also, while we're at it, Kate Blanchett is also sharp and moderate in, in body geometry. I see her as being in between soft dramatic and dramatic. Okay, so you can see how she does have some of that sharpness to her bone structure, and then she also doesn't have as much lush and full features as a sharp and soft type would. And she looks wonderful with an emphasis, like a smoky eye and kind of a neutral lip. But when you really try to put geometrics on her, like you could on the first two ladies that I showed you who are sharp and taut, it's just going to be too much on her. It's going to be too geometric. So you can see here, she looks really nice with like a combination of this smoky eye and kind of neutral colors to her makeup, but at the same time with some softness to her hair. And so here, you can see how she looks in, you know, like her, her full body. You can see that she has some longer lines to her. And at the same time, she also has a little bit of softness. She has some curves. She's not as firm, but she's also not as like soft and lush as someone like Ashley Graham, who is really curvy and really soft. And, you know, she doesn't look... Whitney Thompson here, she doesn't look particularly fleshy, and she doesn't look particularly taut. She kind of looks like she's in the middle. And so that's why she's sharp and moderate. She's not sharp and taut, and she's not sharp and soft. So again here, another example of her, you know, she, her makeup looks wonderful with like just an emphasis on the eyes and then almost a neutral lip, but not too heavy on the colors, just more moderate, basically. Next up, we have Sharp and Soft. So Anjali Anand is Sharp and Soft. And you can see how she really has a lot of softness and sort of like fleshiness to her. Her cheeks are very soft. She looks very soft. Even her shoulders look a bit softer in the angles. And uh, Sharp and Soft doesn't always have like softness to the shoulders, but this is a holistic you know, thing, right? And so she just looks softer in general, but she also has those long lines of sharpened. And so here is another image of her, and she once again looks really soft here. You know, her cheeks are soft, her lips are full, her eyes are soft, and she just looks a lot softer than the other two ladies that, well, the other two subtypes of sharpened. And so you can see how this top is a little bit too stiff on her. It's just a little bit, like with the fabric standing like that, it's just a tiny bit too stiff on her because she has that softness to her features. And then when she wears a lighter weight fabric, that's just beautiful on her and it just matches the softness of her features. So this is another thing that I think is just people come across and it's just this idea of when you like some of my clients will tell me that they thought some feature of theirs was not attractive they didn't like it you know they didn't like their height some women are petite and they'll tell me well i don't like being petite i want to be tall the tall women tell me well i don't want to be tall i want to be petite you know that's just kind of an age-old problem you know and what happens when people wear their own lines is that they come back to me and tell me that they've they, they see the beauty in what they look like, you see? And so sometimes people want to be more toned and more just not curvy, just straight up and down. Some people really want that like model-esque kind of like really straight up and down kind of look. And some people who look like that, they want to be curvy. And so when you dress in a way that doesn't honor how you look, sometimes it can your beautiful features can actually become sort of confusing or not even aesthetic you see but then when people wear their own lines that can really make their beauty shine and their beauty come through and so this is an example of this where it's like the top versus her softness it's just kind of clashing but then when she wears this lightweight fabric everything just makes sense and everything looks so much more beautiful together Ashley Graham is a classic example of sharp and soft. She looks amazing in this sort of lightweight fabric with the high neckline. It's a classic sharp and soft kind of look. And so you can see how sharp and soft looks incredibly soft and fleshy and curvy as they gain weight. 
and that is sort of the hallmark of sharpened soft very fleshy very soft very curvy very lush facial features and then the long lines like long arms and legs usually and some height or some length to the silhouette and here she looks beautiful in this lightweight fabric that's also pretty clingy that looks amazing on her next up we have blended moderate so blended moderate the closest kibby type is a pure classic now i had a lot of trouble because blended moderate is such an uncommon type that i believe david kibby even got rid of the pure classic i still personally really enjoy keeping blended moderate in my system because i found that some people still benefit from blended moderate recommendations and so it is difficult it's more uncommon so it's difficult to find really blended moderate people but jane atkinson is one of those people so she is blended moderate and you can see how here you know her cardigan looks a little bit too textured for her but you can also see the balance in her bone structure you, know, you can see how everything is very balanced her cheekbones are not particularly sharp or soft her lips are not particularly full or thin her eyes are not particularly almond shaped or round everything is not particularly this or that and that is the beauty of blended moderate everything is blended everything is moderate and so with lines to bring out blended moderate's beauty you really need to be careful about keeping everything very smooth very put together so whenever whenever there's any kind of statement jewelry it's going to show on blended moderate like here you know you can really see she's wearing turquoise earrings you know it's it's not an afterthought it's the center of attention but then when she does wear things that are more understated then it can look all like in one image like all put together you see and that's the other thing about blended moderate is that even in a casual setting they can look very put together and she looks casual and put together at the same time and if someone else wore this outfit and tried to relax on their porch they would look like they're dressed up to relax on their porch like why are you dressed up to relax on your porch but she doesn't look like that she looks like she is relaxing and she looks like she's just very put together and that is blended moderate blended sharpened closest kibby type is dramatic classic and so kelly brook is uh blended sharpened and you can see how again she has more of that moderateness to her bone structure but she also looks wonderful in this neutral makeup with an emphasis on the eyes the clean lines to the hair and yeah, i just like this look on her i think it just it suits her well and here you can see that the red lip really looks like it's very glam and it is a red carpet event so i think she looks great but that's something to keep in mind as blended sharpened is that or any blended type is things are just going to look like very intense on you you see like any sort of thing looks like a style statement if you wear turquoise earrings like you're wearing turquoise earrings if you wear a red lip you're wearing your red lip and so you know you have to be careful to some degree and be intentional about what it is that you are wanting to show or project as any kind of blended type but that is the beauty of it too is that if she wears a red lip it really looks like she is wearing a red lip and it looks very um, classic on her very sophisticated on her and so here it's a little bit too much you see how the sparkle is, looks a little disconnected from her and the dress is just a little bit too the whole look is a little bit too glamorous in terms of the lines on her and that's because you know she is more moderate she is blended she has a little bit of sharpness to her but she doesn't have that level of like softness that a soft dramatic would have to this is really this look is really for a soft dramatic and so this goes to show that just because you are at a higher weight you know and just because you have curves like she undoubtedly she has curves she is kind of you know she's she's at I mean, she's not at a high weight but she has some curves right and at the same time she is not really flattered by this kind of sparkle this you know the the kind of draping with, with the sash or, or all of this stuff with the dress you know she's really not that flattered by these kinds of things even though she has curves and that's what some people can get hung up on is well if i have curves why am i not soft and softness is more about fleshiness is what i found through 
through basically just studying all of this a lot, working with a lot of people, I found that softness is about fleshiness. It's not really about curves, if that makes sense. And so this is what's happening with her, is that she's actually not soft, even though she has curves. Particularly her bust line is curvy, but, you know, it. she doesn't, Is she's not soft overall. And so she's much more flattered by something like this, where she, again, has the smoky eye and emphasis on the eyes, and maybe more of a little bit of a stiffer fabric to the top and a neutral lip more of a matte finish to the makeup and a subtle v-neck there like that i think that just looks a lot more effortless on her and just suits her so much better and we kind of focus on her and not her outfit you know the focus is her and her beauty next up we have blended soft the closest kibby type is soft classic and so oprah winfrey is blended soft and she looks wonderful with a bit of softness to her hair. She looks wonderful in lighter weight fabrics. She is very, very warm toned. And so she looks wonderful in these warm, bright colors. She looks wonderful in all colors because she's warm toned, but that's a whole other thing. So here you can see, you know, blended soft is a little bit more petite, usually a little bit more curvy, a little bit more soft. And here you can see her looking beautiful in a bright color and her blazer i actually enjoy her blazer on her it's a tiny bit stiff but because it's such a classic cut it's such a classic blazer and she is blended soft which you know, the, which is closest to soft classic these kinds of fits can really work beautifully on her but i have had a client who has had a lot of tr she had a lot of trouble with blazers and she was actually blended soft and i recommended because her lifestyle was casual enough but she still liked to look more put together sweater blazers actually worked beautifully on her because they didn't have that sharpness to the shoulder they didn't have that that sharp tailoring so if you are blended soft look into sweater blazers those can be just perfect for you because they are clean lined they're a little bit more tailored but they're made of a softer material but still they have like clean lines to them you know and so it's like the best of both worlds so sweater blazers if you're blended soft here she looks like she's retired five times over which i think is a great thing by the way i'm not saying she looks bad i think she looks good here but this just goes to show that like just how casual you can look as blended soft and how quickly you'll look casual this looks like it's you know a head-to-toe ensemble with um uh, a pencil skirt and a top that matches the cardigan you know this is not a look that's like i'm lounging on my porch you see this is actually a pretty put together look if you were to look at it on the hanger but then when she wears it it looks incredibly casual incredibly casual but in a good way i really like this look on her and i think it suits her well also for the occasion it suited her well because she was being interviewed and usually she's the one who does the interview so i really enjoy this on her the softness to her hair also really suits her that soft texture is beautiful on blended soft oh and her glasses i like those as well on her because you know they have some rounded angles to them they aren't particularly oversized and they don't look particularly heavy on her so i really enjoy her glasses too this is one of my favorite looks on her i love it that sheen to the fabric the head to toe look it just looks so perfect and so sweet and so nice i just love it and her hair looks really beautiful here and these glasses i do slightly prefer for blended soft um glasses that are just a little bit um, just lighter, thinner, daintier, and so these look beautiful on her. Mixed Tot is next. Mixed Tot, the closest kibby type, is flamboyant gamine. Rebel Winston is Mixed Tot, and so you can see she looks wonderful with this kind of tousled hair, a statement hair color. It looks amazing on her. A geometric neckline looks great on her, and the the um, the neutral makeup. So if you don't have softness, if you have more sharpness, or if, you, if you're more taut in general, you want to go for neutral makeup, neutral colors with an emphasis on the eyes, as opposed to these kinds of makeup looks that are more sparkly or dewy or glossy and with bright colors and pastels. So that's more for like the soft types. So 
the reason a part of why i chose rebel wilson is because again some of the confusion that a lot of people come to me with is well i'm curvy or i have some curves why would i not be soft and rebel wilson is a great example of that you can see how again she just looks firm and through all of the work that i've done i've found that it's really the fleshiness like like your arms and, and how fleshy your arms are and things like that it's not really about curves it's not about having a curvy bust line or a curvy hip line or anything like that it's about really how fleshy and soft you look and she looks very firm and you can see how firm she looks here even though she's at a bit of a larger size than some other mixed dot examples that we've had on this channel she still has that firmness to her and that's what makes her mixed taut and not mixed soft so here you can see that this is not really doing as much for her. I mean, the the jacket is helping, but you know, the hair is a little too soft and too, just too soft and not tousled enough, not statement enough. And the dress or top is just a little too lightweight. You know, it's not the worst look. I like the mixture of opposites on her, but this kind of goes to show that she really is not soft, you see, because this hair doesn't flatter her as much as something a little more tousled and something that has a little bit more texture to it and heaviness to it you see because this one this hair is a little bit more fluffy and soft and that doesn't flatter her as much this is more like even for like a rounded type like romantic maybe something like that i mean the bangs are pretty straight across so a romantic is wouldn't it be ideal for a romantic but that softness to the hair would be and it's just a little too soft for her, a little too wishy-washy. She needs that kind of like, kind of texture to the hair, maybe some heaviness to the hair, something like that to support her bone structure. And so here she is next to Oprah Winfrey, and you can see Oprah Winfrey is, bl is blended soft, and Rebel Winston is mixed taut. So Oprah Winfrey, soft classic, Rebel Wilson, flamboyant gamine. And you can see the difference because, first of all, Rebel Wilson, again, Rebel looks like she is more firm in her physique. And Oprah looks like she's more soft. And you can really see that, hopefully, by comparing, having them stand next to each other like this. And you can also see that Oprah Winfrey is more sort of like moderate and kind of proportionate. And Rebel Wilson looks like she is more firm and also a more angular like her shoulders are a bit more angular so so hopefully this helps you to kind of see the differences in in the body types next up we have mixed soft so mixed soft our example is mindy kaling and mindy kaling she looks you see how amazing she looks here in these mixed soft lines that's just a perfect you know the contrasting neckline and contrasting detailing and then when she tries to do something that is too glamorous that can look particularly disconnected from her now granted she is a little bit more she's not like the softest mixed soft you know it's always a continuum but you know she is still soft overall but this look just doesn't work on her i think it's incredibly unflattering on her and it's just too glamorous and it's just this is what happens when sometimes you know people wear lines that are very much disconnected from them is that it can just bring out things in an unflattering way but when you wear your own lines it brings out things in a flattering way and so here pretty similar you know kind of like a red thing red dress and stuff similar enough look but it just looks so much more easy on her so much more effortless on her and i really love this the high neckline more of a fitted look less glamour and more like tousling to the hair just looks perfect and we have Octavia Spencer, I believe is her name, and she is also mixed soft, although she is a lot more soft, and she also has a lot of ingenue essence, and so she has that cute look to her. So she really looks beautiful in something like this, like the bright color as mixed soft. And then you can also see people, well, Miriam, isn't this like a romantic top? It's not really, in my opinion, it's not a romantic top because it has more stiffness to the fabric. It has a very crisp fabric, and that's what makes it mix soft, that crisp fabric to the top. And here she looks beautiful in this, you know, the, the cheetah print adds sort of like a contrasting, it's almost like a contrasting print. 
So yeah, the contrasting print looks beautiful on her. The cut of the blazer is beautiful because it's sort of tailored, but it doesn't have very sharp geometrics to it. And the higher neckline to the blazer is also very flattering on any mixed soft type. And so next up we have rounded, and the closest Kibi type is a pure romantic. And Bria, Bria Henderson is a rounded bone structure type, and I chose this photo of her specifically because you can really see how soft her bone structure is. It's not about her features being soft, although they are. It's her cheekbones are really soft and don't have much angularity. Her jawline doesn't have much angularity. Her nose and the structure of her nose is all very soft. And then we can move on to her shoulders and the slope of her shoulders all being soft and rounded. Everything looks very rounded in terms of the bone structure. And that applies to anyone who has a rounded bone structure. Because imagine if you take something rounded and you, no matter how little, if something is rounded, no matter how little flesh you put on top of it, it's still going to look rounded, right? And so that's what's happening when you are a rounded bone structure type. It doesn't really even matter if your features are soft or taut. It just matters that your bone structure is rounded because no amount of flesh is going to make you look angular if your bone structure is not angular. So her bone structure is not angular. And so that's why she has a rounded bone structure type. It has nothing to do with her features, although her features are also soft in this case. So rounded is a very special type in the sense that it doesn't really matter if your features are soft or taut because they are on top of a rounded bone structure. So there's nothing that can really be done to make it look sharp, right? Okay, so she is a rounded bone structure type. And so here she looks really beautiful in this kind of top that's all like lightweight fabrics and with a little bit of waist definition that looks really good on her. Here she looks really pretty in again like a lightweight fabric and some soft curls to her hair and also the pastels to her makeup just look lovely on her. And that's how you know that you are a rounded type. One way that you could know is if you're in between like rounded and rounded mixed, like romantic, theatrical romantic, the rounded type is going to look wonderful in pastels, lots of pastels. And that can be a telltale sign that you are a pure rounded type. And so I really like this on her too because I like the lighter color of the top, but then some of her deeper features are tied in by the print. So I just think it looks beautiful. Here she looks lovely with this like soft, fluffy hair. That's another thing that looks beautiful on rounded types. So this kind of soft, fluffy, airy hair is just wonderful. And her dress is really pretty on her too. You know, it just very kind of works with her curves nothing too boxy or anything like that so this is a great everyday look what i would change about this is maybe a lighter color to the dress because sometimes rounded types can feel like dark colors can be a bit heavy on them but other than that i really like this on her next up we have rounded mixed so we have nicola coughlin who is rounded mixed two other examples are melissa mccarthy and beanie feldstein so those are two other examples I won't get into in this video, but those are two ladies who are also rounded mixed. Nicola Coughlin is our lady, our rounded mixed lady of the day. She, and the closest Kibi type is theatrical romantic. So you can see how she has a little bit more like delicate angularity to her bone structure. And she doesn't have as much, like as much roundedness. She has like a touch of angularity, maybe her cheekbones like a tiny bit more like just delicate angularity, nothing like a sharpened type would have, nothing like a dramatic or anything, but just a little bit. And her eyes are sort of like upturned and dainty rather than like soft and rounded. This is just, these are just kind of holistic points, you know what I mean? It's not an end-all be-all of a way to type someone. The best way, I think, is to just try on the line recommendations and then that's going to really show you what looks best on you. And so here she looks wonderful in this like lots of ruffles, a lot, you know, waist definition and everything in, in this dress that looks so beautiful on her. So wonderful. I love it. And the bright color is also really beautiful on her as someone who is rounded mixed. 
so here she looks really pretty with the bright lip color that really adds a lot to this look because the black does look harsh on her and finally i found an example of someone doing what i've recommended a lot of people to do which is if you want to wear black and you're blonde and you're really light like nicola coughlin is then you can wear a dark headband and that can really help you can see how that it ties in that dark color that black color on her head too so it kind of like balances everything um, or dark rimmed glasses or black sunglasses can also work and do that as well or a black hat or something like that can do that too so you know i i really enjoy this look on her even though I do think that the black is still too harsh on her for her body type, for her coloration, I like that she put that black headband to like tie everything in, and I like the, the brighter lip on her. It looks really fresh and nice. And so here, this kind of hair, like the tousling to the hair, doesn't really flatter her, and the, the makeup being more in neutral tones is just a little too heavy on her and i don't think this works on her even though she's wearing such a light color still the makeup can really be too heavy so she does better with like these kinds of fresh colors to the makeup she here she looks adorable i love this she has a lot of ingenue essence and she just looks wonderful here with the ruffles and everything and with her hair having some like soft curls to it it just looks so nice and so cute and you can see just how small she looks and how petite she looks and how curvy she looks and so that is basically rounded mixed and so this is just i love this on her i love a red lip on her i i mean i'm pretty sure she's cool toned i haven't i take it back i haven't officially color typed her she appears to be cool toned here but i take it back don't go around saying i said she was cool toned i don't know yet um but i suspect she could be just from this image alone but one image can never tell you anything about anyone's color type but she looks amazing here anyway regardless a part of why she looks so amazing is because she is rounded mixed and she looks amazing with a bright red lip and an emphasis even on the lips you know with kind of more of a subtle eye look that looks amazing on rounded mixed and on any rounded type too so she looks really pretty here and i love this i love that that blue on her i love the the bright red lip on her and you can see how soft she looks overall so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave some comments down below as usual and as you know i do work with clients and i help people enhance their look and find their most flattering lines and colors and i'll leave a link down below on how you can book with me if you are interested so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you next time okay bye